Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has dismissed his popular defense minister, Yov Gallant, in a surprise announcement. Netanyahu and Gallant have repeatedly been at odds throughout the war in Gaza. But Netanyahu had avoided firing his rival. A previous attempt to fire Gallant in March 2023 sparked widespread street protests against Netanyahu. The Prime Minister announced his decision late Tuesday. During wartime, more than ever, a complete trust between the Prime Minister and the Defense Minister is essential. Unfortunately, while we initially had this trust and accomplished much in the early months of the campaign, over recent months, that trust between me and the Defense Minister has eroded, Netanyahu said in a statement. Netanyahu explained that there were major differences between him and Gallant. Israel Katz, the current Foreign Minister of Israel, will become Defense Minister and Gideon Sayar will replace Katz as Foreign Minister. וממשיך לתימן ולעיראק במקומות אחרים, ואנחנו בכל המקומות האלה בולמים ומכים אותם. כשהנתיבים נסגרים, הדרך שלהם לפעול זה להזרים לתוך יהודה ושומרון את כל מה שהם יכולים. גם כסף, גם מטענים, גם נשק, וגם כאלה שיכולים להדריך או לאפשר או להפעיל. North Carolina voters began heading to the polls early on Tuesday to decide whether to send Donald Trump back to the White House or elevate Kamala Harris to the Oval Office. Voters were seen casting their ballot for the U.S. election at one station in Black Mountain. North Carolina is one of seven closely watched swing states that could give its electoral votes to either Trump or Harris. Other voting locations also opened across the nation on Tuesday morning as voters faced a stark choice between two candidates who have offered drastically different temperaments and visions for the world's largest economy and dominant military power. Harris, the Democratic vice president, stands to be the first female president if elected. She has promised to work across the aisle to tackle economic worries and other issues without radically departing from the course set by President Joe Biden. Trump, the Republican former president, has vowed to replace thousands of federal workers with loyalists, impose sweeping tariffs on allies and foes alike, and stage the largest deportation operation in U.S. history. The recurrent storms in eastern Spain that led to massive flooding last week and killed at least 217 people, mostly near Valencia, dumped rain on Barcelona on Monday. At the city's airport heavy rain lashed planes on the tarmac and a terminal roof sprang a leak. Spanish Transport Minister Oscar Puente said that the rains had forced air traffic controllers to change the course of 15 flights operating at the airport, located on the southern flank of the city. Puente also said he was suspending all commuter trains in northeast Catalonia, a region with 8 million people, on request from civil protection officials. Mobile phones in Barcelona screeched with an alert for extreme and continued rainfall on the southern outskirts of the city. The alert urged people to avoid any normally dry gorges or canals. Several highways have been closed due to flooding. Classes were cancelled in Tarragona, a city in southern Catalonia about halfway between Barcelona and Valencia, 
after a red alert for rains was issued. Terminal 1 de l'aeroport del Prat. Sembla una piscina. Det er meget vand, der ligger derude. Det er ikke fede videoer, det er over hjemme. Man kan bare se, hvor meget der er. Ja, det er bare så meget.